Hey guys, this is Lonnie here tonight with a quick request from one of my patrons. And what uh, he would like to know is how to easily set up uh, your controllers and split them between the front of your app and your back end of your app. And then how to deal with authentication for that. Uh, so to do that, we're going to start, get started real quick here. As you can see, I've got a brand new blank install of Code Igniter 411 here, the latest uh, stable version. And so what we are going to do is make that a whole lot smaller to deal with. <laughs> and um, so all your controllers are going to be in your front, right? So to deal with front controllers, well, that's really that's real simple, okay? Whoops, I don't need to create something in here. Um, but what we're going to do is drop down into our Code Igniter uh, CLI here and create a new controller. Uh, Code Igniter 4.1 has some nice generators here. So let's do a front controller. All right. So it tells us here where it created it. So if we go back and look, there it is. There's our controller that it created. All right, which obviously doesn't do anything yet. So just so that we can see that, yes, it did something, we can go here. All right. Now, if we go here, um, since auto routing is on, we can... <laughs> um, oh, that's right. I named it front controller, didn't I? All right, since auto routing is on, it will automatically take us to the controller. You guys probably know from previous uh, discussions that I'm a huge fan of turning that off and specifying everything automatically, because this gives us a whole lot more control, and you'll see why here in just a second. See, if we do that now, auto routing is turned off, so it can't find it, right? So let's get rid of that, and so now we have to define where we want that to be. Okay, so in this case, Let's take our front controller, which we just set up, and make that our new home page. So we'll take our slash here and we'll just modify this. To go like this. And there we go. Now whenever we go to the front, that is our front controller. We could do that with any amount of controllers that we wanted to do here, right? And those would all be on your front end. You could actually do any structure you wanted as long as you tell them where to go here. So if you wanted to do a section that was uh, just for your front. You could do that. You could move that into there. Um, we're not going to change the name or anything now, but we do need to change the namespace um, because the namespace has to match the folder structure here in order for it to be found, right? Okay, so now we come back here. Now we've moved that controller. So obviously, it's not going to work now. It doesn't know where to find that controller. So we tell it here, uh, they need to be, oops. And there we go, we're back to it, okay? So when you specify them individually, you can organize them any way you want, all right? A lot of times I will keep a, same, uh, a directory here that takes care of my front side or my app side. And then I'll have another one for the admin side. Uh, if I have other little groups, I may group them you know, in other organizations also. And so to do a backend, you would do the exact same thing. You would take here, we'll call this our back end. Uh, actually, just so you guys can see a little thing, let's pretend like I didn't do that, all right? And come back here, let's make a new controller. Now you can type in the name of the subcontroller you want it to be in here. So if you want it to be in a folder called back, you can do back and back controller, whatever you want to call it. And you see that it automatically creates this back directory as it creates that, okay? So here we go, we've got our new back directory. But now nothing will happen yet because we've not told it where to find it. And so now if we come, if we come back here um, and we say slash admin needs to go to back, slash, back controller index. Now if we come to our admin area, there we are, it shows us that we are in that controller. And so that's how I would do it. Um, but to get even more specific here, what I would do is I would set up a, um, I would do a group here. Um, the group is going to have a prefix of admin, right? And then so now anything that we specify within this is going to be in the admin prefix, right? And so there's something else we can do here is, because we don't want to deal with 
saying the uh, the exact namespace here all the time. So let's make this. Um, oops. Namespace back. So that should do it within the within app controllers and then back. Um, and that's so we don't need to specify that anymore, and that just simplifies our code. So now anything we do will be under slash admin and then followed by whatever the URI is here. Right, so if we want to do admin slash users, whoops, users, you could do it like that, right? And you could start building out your admin area. Um, the only time you need that forward slash is if it's on its own, which means it'll match that. So now if we go back to here, slash admin, um, oh, There we go. Sorry, because it's the first group, you need to specify the whole the whole path of those controllers there. Uh, but you only have to do that once, so it's not that big of a deal. And that gets you into your admin area. And so now we have two separate areas, because we can go back to front here, right? So we're back to the front. We have two separate areas now, our front end and our back end, that we can organize however we want that matches our, the domain of our application, uh, the way we like to think about it best, however you need to organize it, right? Or however it works best for your team. Now, the great thing is, um, if you if you want to do authentication, especially doing this grouping here, you can do that fairly easily depending on the authentication library you're using. I've got one that I built previously called MythAuth. It was one of the first ones available for CI4, and it technically it's in beta. I've already installed it here, so you didn't have to see what I have to do, but I can show you real quick. Because it's in beta, you have to set your minimum stability to dev. And then you can do composer require uh, mythoth, and it'll bring it in. It's it's stable. It's a number of people are using it. Um, there's some more documentation that needs to be added, to, and a couple other things like that. Other than that, it's a great 1.0, and I need to get it wrapped up pretty soon. But I've got that installed already. And so what you can do, one thing that it provides, is the ability to filter on your groups. So I can add a filter here that says um, I have to be an admin. I have to be logged in and I have to be a role of admin in order to be allowed access to this area. Okay, so we'll save that. Now we'll go back here. So front doesn't affect. Now if we try and go back to our admin area, um, it's not going to work. All right, so it looks like that I have some work to do. <laughs> uh, so I will have this updated within the next few days. Um, it looks like the filter um, interface changed, and I didn't get Mythoth updated to work with that with the latest version, so I'll have to do that. However, that is the basic concept. Forgive the messiness here <laughs> on this tutorial, right? Um, but that would be the basic concept using Mythoth. Uh, if you're using a version previous to 4.1, you should be fine, and it'll be updated and compatible with 4.1 very shortly. Um, I thought it already was. My bad. Um, but anyway, you, you can set up filters in your authentication that you can then apply to a group of routes, and that is the simplest way that I know to make it work. Now, anything within here would require you to be logged in, in either an admin or a super admin. And so that keeps all your permissions safe. Uh, you can do that for the front end for login sections if you have other permissions. You can create you know, different filters if you need to. So that is the basics. Uh, and again, I apologize that this didn't work right off the bat. That was very sloppy. Uh, and it's my bad that I didn't realize that wasn't working up to date. Um, I apologize for that. Um, hopefully this has been helpful. And be sure to check out Mythoff uh, soon but maybe not just quite yet if you're using the latest version. Um, if you have any other requests, hit me up on Patreon, and I will make a video for you guys. All right? Talk to you later. Bye.